I know this game. Uh huh. Yeah, this game looked pretty interesting. I heard about it from a YouTube video that I watched, a little review. Actually, let me pull up the channel because this is a really cool like indie review channel that I stumbled across with literally like 63 subscribers. I don't know how I found it, but I love like how chill uh, he is. And his videos are like super short. So I found out about Pick A New Une Dreams because of this channel. It's the most recent video from two weeks ago. This channel has 35 subscribers and he okay. makes reviews about indie games. I recommend it if you want chill reviews about indie games that last like anywhere from like five to 10 minutes. They're pretty good. Super simple editing, super chill kind of vibe. So shout out to In My Opinion for letting me know about Pika Yune Dreams. And he also, I also, that's how I found out about Dream Wild too. Really good channel. I, I recommend it. So yeah. All right. Now we're going to play, well, play the game. Clout. Yeah. You're going to get some clout, my guy. So this is just an empty void of space and I don't see anything. Oh, oh, is it automatic shooting? Okay, so it so it aim assists for me. That is quite interesting. Oh. Um. Well, the wings make you which one makes you go faster? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Now I can actually aim. Okay. Honestly, the auto target was probably better. That's fair. Music goes hard though. I love break core. Oh my god, you're. Uh... See, I love Vampire Survivors, so I'm like all for this game. Doing my damnedest to bring audio back. <laughs> Might be your computer, because Red said he heard it fine. I am so not I don't know. My computer, my phone because my computer is ass right now. Uh. It just won't load anything. Yeah, so there's different enemy types. You get upgrades uh, when you fight enough enemies. I do like the progression system. Oh gosh, what is <laughs> what was that? Oh gosh. Yeah, that that's a bit creepy. Oh. Oh, they attack. The faces attack. I like that. That's that's pretty cool design. I've seen that before. It's like his rib cage open, but it's just like his face. Everything went wrong. Everything went wrong. Oh my god. Ugh. I punched my love computer. The, I love that there's the latitude and longitude whenever you target enemies. That's a really nice feature. I bet. See, I'm, I'm, I, I keep thinking I have to click the shoot, but it's just like automatically shooting. Oh, and then I have rockets. Nice. Ooh, lasers, let's go. Yep. No oh, and the then the, the numbers are what you collect to level up. Oh, I love that. That is that is really cool. Well, I got a buzzsaw Louie. Oh, this is game is such a vibe. Oh, I could play this for hours, quite honestly. Pretty sure this is the demo. I will definitely buy this game. What? I was hoping you finally released it. Oh, I got a yo-yo. 
Yeah, this is one of those like really good mindless games that you can like play while like listening to music or a podcast or something like I, I like these kind of kind of like time waster games they help like my brain relax after like a hard day of work you know when I'm just like okay I just want to like not like super focus on a thing I just want to like keep my hands busy you know so I love Vampire Survivors, but I think I like the aesthetic of this game more than that. Absolutely. I'm also a sucker for like endless horde kind of games because I grew up with Call of Duty uh, Black Ops Zombies and I love that game to death. So I love like survival type games. Ooh. Love some zombies. Oh yeah, zombies is so much fun. Black Ops 1 and 2 are like, oh, so good. I kind of fell off after that, but it's fine. I actually pre-ordered the season pass for Black Ops 2 when it was on 360, and I played that with my friends, and that was so much fun. Being able to play like all the zombie maps. This game's also really loud, so I feel like I have to like talk louder. Low three was still fired. Their eyes and Draka is a top five map. Yeah, didn't both three have a lot of like recycled maps from like World at War and like the other Black Ops yeah. games? Because that's oh. what I thought. I don't recognize you. Uh, don't. Oh. Story? Don't what? Are you able to clarify? I know there's no time. You have to find the carrots before they run away. <laughs> carrots. You're late. You're late. They're angry. Have you see my out? That was just the final DLC. Oh, uh, okay, got it. <laughs> I played a little bit of both three, but like, it wasn't my favorite. I just, I just didn't like the like the gobble gum system because I didn't, I didn't like when zombies went into like more microtransactions and I kind of feel like it just wasn't appealing to me at that point. Like some of the maps are fun, but I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of, oh gosh, I can't even focus. Long uh, gone are the days of cheap oh gosh, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't know, I'm just, oh, uh, it's so hard to talk and focus right now. I, if I get hit once, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, am I dead? I'm dead. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. That game is really fun. I'm I'm enjoying this aesthetic. I love the gameplay loop. Oh, this makes me happy. Yeah, that's pretty much uh, that game. <laughs> I, I, I already love it. Ooh, a loadout, what? Ooh, you can upgrade like in Vampire Survivors. That's cool.